When ex-beauty queen Ibi Nabofi Beresima decided to become the president of the Axis Guild of Nigeria, she probably didn't know that the politics of showbiz will come with so much drama. Ibi Nabo's reign is about to get even more controversial as the court ruling has upturned the election which brought her into office. Here's a report on how it all started. Ibn Abo Febersima's sojourn into the politics of show business has been redoubled with many controversies, which perhaps existed long before she considered becoming the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN. The leadership tussle began with the guild breaking into two factions, while Shegun Arinze held the position, which according to another actor, Emeka Ike, was an illegality, as he, and not Arinze, was the true guild president. Emeka Ike further secured a court injunction against Arinze's plan to conduct elections to get a new president for the guild, which Arinze ignored. Enter Ibinabo Febersima, who early in 2012 joined the race for the top job of the Actors Guild of Nigeria as the only female vying for the position of president following Arinze's decision to not seek a re election. Other contestants were the former Secretary General of the Guild, Emeka Rolas. Steve Ebo, and a newcomer to the race, comic actor Charles Inouye. In September of the same year, Ibn Abo was sworn in as the first female president of the AGN, but not without controversy, as the ceremony took place outside the Secretariat. Also, a few hours before the election results were released, fellow aspirant evangelist Emeka Rolas was announced as president. The swearing in took place at the Guild's National Secretariat in Surilere. In the presence of a few Nollywood actors, directors, and producers, including movie producer Zeb Ejiro, former AGN president Shegun Rize, and Emeka Sigbu, amongst others. I will discharge my duties. I will discharge my duties as the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. As the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. My opponent is not taking his defeat very kindly, but with time, I'm sure he will ease out, and um, we will work as a team. It seemed like a happy ending, or should we say beginning? But no, trouble started brewing several months later following the Lagos AGN elections in June 2013, as two factions led by Don Pedro Agambi and Victor Oswagu fired for recognition. <laughs> Ibn Abo had expelled the then outgoing Lagos State Chairman Emeka Rising Ibe for corruption to anti guild offences and also suspended some members. The national PRO, Frank Dallas, was also impeached. In 2014, veteran actress Clarion Chukura condemned Ibn Abo Febrisima's administration, rating her leadership zero. Chukura raised concerns about welfare and working conditions of the actors, further alleging that Ibn Abo's attempt at getting the federal government's attention were predicated on self-interest and corruption. Despite all workings against her, Ibn Abo was not without her supporters. Because of your concern for other people, the good Lord himself, who appreciates our love for a fellow human being, will always protect you and guide you in all what you do. Amen. Amen. this prayer to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this was that was in 2014. But as a new year brings its new challenges, 2015 has come with its own share of drama for Ibn Abo. The ex-beauty queen has now been unseated as a federal high court sitting in Lagos on March 16th upturned the election as president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. In a judgment delivered by presiding judge Justice James Sogo, it was ruled that the October 2014 election that brought Ibn Abu back for second term was against the subsisting court order obtained by actor Emeka Ike in 2013, restraining the AGN from conducting any elections. The ex-beauty queen has now vowed to appeal the ruling, adding that her legal team is working to reverse the turn of events. Whether this new case will mark the end of Ibn Abo's wars or birth a new era of controversies in the AGM is yet to be seen.